17-year-old Elena Quapel is living with asthma. She was diagnosed at age 13. When you have an asthma attack, your airways actually close up and people don't realize that you can't breathe, you can't get the air out. In addition to breathing problems, acid reflux is common in asthmatic children. The acid travels from the stomach up into the esophagus, causing irritation and heartburn. Elena and her mom, Christine, came to Rush University Medical Center. Here at Rush's asthma clinic, she participated in a study involving acid-suppressing medications to see if they improve asthma symptoms. This study is important because proton pump inhibitors are widely used drugs, and there's been a lot of conflicting data about whether they're effective for the treatment of asthma. The prescriptions increased dramatically over the past decade, from 850,000 to over 2.5 million. Dr. Janet Holbrook from Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health and co-authors conducted a randomized clinical trial at 18 asthma research centers across the country. 306 children ages 6 to 17 with uncontrolled asthma participated. And I want you to take a nice big breath in and blow it as hard as you can. <laughs> Half of the children were given lansoprasol in addition to taking inhaled corticosteroid medication. The other half were given a placebo. The children were followed for about six months. For children without obvious signs of acid reflux, treatment with a PPI does not help their asthma symptoms. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. In the children who were taking the active drug, they tended to have more upper respiratory infections during the study. So not only is the treatment not effective for the symptoms that the physician may be this trying to control, it may also come with some risk. I was seen in the ER on Friday. Elena says participating in the study helped her better understand the disease, something she is hoping to share by starting the first support group in her area for children with asthma and their families. I think it's really important for kids and the parents to understand that they're not alone, that there's other people out there dealing with this and there's ways that they can get help and support. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.